now let's come back and start with your hcl compound the next uh, compound after the after chlorine element now whenever i speak about hcl we have done the uh, like preparation of hcl the chemical property is very simple basically not as complicated as chlorine now when i have to speak about hcl the most important thing you have to remember is anhydrous hcl anhydrous hcl is not at all acidic is not acidic remember it is acidic only in aqueous medium because it dissociates into iron so aqueous hcl is only acidic in nature please remember this concept never write anhydrous hcl is acidic now <coughs> how can i prove it is acidic in nature when i take this hcl when i dissociate into water it's going to form ions which are in equilibrium so first thing h3o plus because it releases hydronium ion and cl minus i call hcl as an acid that too in aqueous medium only now what is the state this is your okay g now uh, yeah this is your aqueous solution this is your liquid isn't it okay liquid this is your aqueous medium this is also is a aqueous medium that now here when ka value what is ka value the acid acid uh, uh, dissociation constant ka value is equal to 10 raised to the 7 this is the ka value which indicates that it is highly acidic in nature <coughs> done with that concept when should you learn this question a reaction when they ask you explain the acidic nature of hcl done well let us see based on this concept how does it react with ammonia how does it react with metals and how does it react with salts of weak acid now when i have to speak about ammonia in your lab when you have tested a test for ammonia confirmatory test is nacl sorry nestle c agent and then how did you test you would have taken the test tube uh, containing ammonia and dipped a glass rod in hcl and introduced in the the mouth of the test tube what did you observe you got dense white fumes of ammonium chloride so that is a reaction when ammonia reacts with hcl you get the formation of ammonium chloride which is the dense white fumes done the same thing if i have to speak about metals now ammonia reacts with metals like silver it also reacts with the medium reactive metals it also reacts with zinc now when it is reacting with silver it requires oxygen in the presence of oxygen only so what do i get silver chloride plus water this is important most of the students end up with hydrogen gas please don't do that here h2 i have not it balanced now iron plus hcl gives me fecl2 plus hydrogen gas metal plus acid gives me hydrogen gas but here instead of forming fecl3 it only totally forms fecl2 because this hydrogen whatever is there it will suppress it will prevent the formation of fecl3 it will suppress the reaction till here so you can write hydrogen prevents conversion of fecl2 to fecl3 further hence you get the product now when i take zinc when i'm going to add hcl to this what do i get salt plus hydrogen gas that's it simple there's no much complicated just like chlorine now when i have to take salts of weak acid okay so also weak acid basically your uh, if i take uh, carbonic acid the salt of that is na2co3 bicarbonate salt of weak acid sodium sulfate salt of weak acid now when i'm adding hcl to all of these simple isn't it there's nothing much logic in this i get water and carbon dioxide nacl is out here here also you get the same concept your nacl here also you get the same concept that is sodium chloride apart from that what what do we get we are going to get carbon dioxide gas because carbonate dissociates into carbon dioxide carbon dioxide here also you have carbonate so you will again get carbon dioxide but here you have sulfate sulfate always dissociates into sulfur dioxide gas apart from that what do we have everywhere you have water molecule evolved water this is also water molecule this is also water so these are your reactions let's come back simple reactions but come back and do the reducing nature of hcl which is very very important for your exam So let us come back and see the last imp an important property of HCl that is reducing property. So basically reducing property as a, uh, as a reducing agent HCl when I compare with other halides a bit lesser uh, property reducing agent but what does it do? It's going to reduce only <coughs> strong oxidizing agents. 
this is the most important thing and after that when it's reducing the others it oxidizes into it itself itself gets oxidized to chlorine I remember that that means whenever you have in the reaction HCl every way the byproduct should be compulsory chlorine that's important and the leftover oxidizing this one this is going to oxidize the leftover uh, 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 sorry reduce the leftover oxidizing agent once again HCl gets oxidized to chlorine gas and the, the other uh, strong oxidizing agents like these or this one also is a strong oxidizing agent they are going to get reduced to uh, the respective salts let's see everywhere you are supposed to write chlorine remember that because HCl gets oxidized to chlorine very important compound Cl2 is everywhere <coughs> done apart from this you are also going to get water in the reaction H2O everywhere remember that I have not at balanced this reaction but apart from this as I said the leftover would form the respective salts so manganese and sulfate forms MnSO4 then next manganese and this chlorine converts to manganese chloride the Pb and Cl2 converted to PbCl2 Pb3O4 and Cl gets converted to PbCl2 calcium this is your bleaching powder in the presence of HCl it gets converted to calcium chloride plus chlorine plus water so I meant to balance the reactions but remember this is getting reduced this is getting oxidized how this uh, oxidation state is plus one and minus one here it is zero so obviously it is understood isn't it it is getting oxidized and this is getting reduced